It's time now for a look at in local news. In the news, the Georgia presidential primary will take place on March the 12th here in the state of Georgia with three weeks of early voting taking place before that. A key reminder that if you want to be eligible to vote and are not registered at this time, the last day to register to do so is this coming Monday, February 12th at 5 p.m. If you need more information on how to register to vote, you can contact the Wayne County Registrar's Office in Wayne County at number 912-427-5950. All registered voters can participate in either party's primary when a total of 14 candidates will be on the ballot, including frontrunners Joe Biden in the Democratic race and Donald Trump in the Republican contest. Early voting for the president's primary begins February 19th, runs up until March the 8th. And here in Wayne County, all early voting will take place at the Crack Williams Rec Center at 245 East Bay Street in Jessup. Also, at the same time, Wayne County voters will vote whether or not to continue the one cent penny for the SPLOS 5 which is a referendum that the county has put on the ballot as they look to continue that one cent penny, which raises millions of dollars for the county and citizens of Jessup, Odom, and Scriven. It's a yes or no vote. And if you need more information about the SPLOS 5 referendum, they state you're invited to a town hall meeting this coming Monday, February 12th at the Auditorium of Coastal Pines Technical College. That will take place between 6 and 8 p.m. On the program will be County Administrator Paul Drotty, Jessup Mayor's Jessup Mayor Ralph Hickox, Odom Mayor Greg Rozier, and Scriven Mayor Jason Weaver. The town hall event will be able to ask questions about the SPLOS 5 referendum. County at their meeting on Monday state, unfortunately, there's a lot of misinformation out on Facebook. So the county officials ask that you go to their website, which is waynecountygeorgia.us. And on that site is all the information regarding the SPLOS 5 referendum. Once again, most of the information out on Facebook, they state, is not correct. So again, you can attend the town hall meeting this coming Monday to find out more information. We can go to the county's webpage. Again, it's waynecountygeorgia.us, and they state all the information is on that website. Once again, the last day to register to be able to vote in the elections is Monday, February 12th. Early voting begins Monday, February 19th. Again, all early voting takes place at the Crack Greens Rec Center, 245 East Bay Street in Jessup. This is the referendum in SPLOS that will appear on the ballot before the voters. It says, shall a special 1% sales and use tax be imposed in the special district of Wayne County, for a period of time not to exceed six years for the grazing of an estimated $28 million for the purpose of one, for funding courthouse projects and renovations, road, street, breach projects, and road equipment, public safety equipment, and vehicles including fire equipment and fire trucks, and recreation projects and equipment including a competition swimming pool and community center for Wayne County. Two, for funding public safety, public works, and beautification, water and sewer projects for the city of Jessup, water and sewer infrastructure projects, roads and streets and bridges infrastructure projects, fire protection and public safety facilities and equipment, storm water and infrastructure projects and recreational facilities and equipment for the city of Odom, streets, drainage, public safety, sanitation and wastewater, and recreational facilities and equipment for the city of Scriven. If imposed, again, the tax is approved by the voters. Such votes shall also constitute approval of the issuance of general obligation debt of Wayne County and the principal amount of $15 million for the above purposes. Once again, it's a yes or no vote. That's the referendum that will appear on the ballot when voters head to the polls again beginning Monday, February 19th. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. This past Wednesday morning at Wayne County High School, law enforcement conducted what the school system says is a routine drug dog search, which is part of the school's safety and wellness protocols. These searches occur randomly, so the school administration did not announce in advance that law enforcement was bringing the dogs to campus. School went into lockdown, meaning students and staff had to stay in place until the search was completed to ensure the safety of all those on campus. School officials state they are thankful and proud to announce that after a thorough search of the school campus, no drugs or weapons were found. Social media rumors of weapons being found or someone bringing a weapon to school are false, and at no time was there any danger to the students and staff members. Normal school operations resumed on Wednesday afternoon as soon as the search was concluded. School went School sent out an email to all school system employees and families that Wednesday morning to clarify what was taking place and dispel all the false information on Facebook. Wayne County pre-kindergarten school registration is taking place on February 12th through March the 15th. You must turn four on or before September 1st. List of required documents and pre-kindergarten online registration link for the 2024-25 school year may be found on the Wayne County website at Wayne. K12.GA.US under the heading Pre-Kindergarten Information and Registration. Once again, registration entries will still be accepted after March 15th, but will not be included in the initial lottery drawing on March the 20th. 
next community blood drive set for the American Red Cross taking place Monday, February 19th from 1 to 6 at Calvary Baptist Church Gymnasium, sponsored by the Justice Runners Ladies Auxiliary. To schedule an appointment, they ask you to visit the Red Cross Blood Dog. RedCrossBlood.org and enter just up to schedule an appointment. City so just to remind everyone that East Cherry Street is going to be closed. South Palm Street to South Mahogany Street tomorrow, February 10th, for sore line repairs. Again, they state they apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. But again, that's taking place tomorrow on East Cherry Street from South Palm Street to South Mahogany Street. That will be closed tomorrow for sore line repairs. Chamber of Commerce gearing up for Thursday State of Education luncheon. Taking place at Coastal Pines Technical College between 11 and 1. Tickets are available. $30 for chamber members, $40 for non-members. Everyone is invited. It all takes place at Coastal Pines Technical College. Once again, the time from 11 to 1. On the program will be Wayne County School Superintendent Dr. Sean Kelly, President of Coastal Pines Technical College, Mr. Lonnie Roberts, <clears throat> and Sherry Bowen, who heads up Wayne Christian Academy, and Elizabeth Williams with Coastal Plains High School. Need more information? Simply stop by or call the chamber. Chamber's number is 912-427-2028. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes and news, the Wayne County Board of Tourism's 2024 Hog Jam set for next weekend, February 16th through the 18th. Statewide Hunt begins that Friday at 2 p.m. February 16th ends on Sunday, February 18th at 12 noon. Registration for the hunt will close at 6 p.m. that Friday, February 16th at 6 p.m., on-site registrations available at Hunt Headquarters at the J.C. Fair Building. Online registration will be open through 2 p.m. Friday. Registration is $50 for bow or gun hunters, or you can pay $100 to hunt in both categories. Hunter 16 under hunt free with a registered adult hunter. All hawks must be weighed into the J.C. Fairgrounds in Jessup. The participants can hunt anywhere in the state or any of the connecting states. They have legal permission to do so. Hunters must be in line at weigh-in by 12 noon or they're disqualified. Participants are responsible for knowledge of the rules. Registration rules are available on the Wayne County Board of Tourism's website, waynetourism.com. Once again, the Hog Jam is set for next weekend, February 16th through the 18th, with headquarters at the J.C. Fair Building. This is an election year in Wayne County, qualifying to run for offices of sheriff, clerk of court, tax commissioner, probate judge, solicitor, county commissioner, school board, and a lot more begins on March 4th and runs up until March the 8th. Candidates running are making their intentions known, and WIFO Fit Fem will be inviting the candidates on the Butch and Bob Show discuss their candidacy for office. Today, we have a candidate running for district attorney, the Brunswick Judicial Circuit. John B. Johnson will be on the show. And the Brunswick Judicial Circuit is made up of five counties, including Wayne County, Eppling County, Camden County, Jeff Davis, and Glenn County. Johnson served as assistant DA for many years with several district attorneys in Wayne County, including Glenn Thomas, Stephen Kelly, Jackie Johnson. Again, he'll be our guest this morning on the Butch and Bob Show, announcing he's seeking office for the district attorney position. Currently held by Keith Higgins, who defeated Jackie Johnson last election four years ago. And Keith Higgins also has announced he's running for election. And John B. Johnson, our guest today on the Bitch and Bob Show. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, have a great day.